Whose burnout was better? I think Dane. What? I think Dane got it. What? He knocked the. Dude, I can't wait to smell this car again. I love the smell of the SE. It's my favorite smelling car. Oh, dude! You never showed me <laughs> the secret ingredient. Wait, what did you do, dude? The car smells like a 90s car now. What did you do? I've been deceived, dog. All right, all we gotta do is put some wheels on. Push quick. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing the off-road conversion. You're making it as a 4x4 at the seat. Yo, <laughs> that's pretty tight. Are you sure it's running, Ding? It is definitely running. I can confirm that. Oh, oh God! <laughs> so as you guys remember, this thing was broken, and we got it unbroken. This thing has a 1UZ, it has a W58 conversion, 5-speed swap, and basically to make these work, they use a GM style hydraulic drop bearing, instead of like a slave with a clutch fork. And so that particular bearing is a little finicky with the spacing uh, it requires to get the clutch to operate properly. The kit had spacers already, so we thought those were the ones. So we just threw them in, didn't work, pulled the transmission like three times. Long story short, it was the spacers. It was a $17, four spacers, four washers. That's all it took to make this thing work. We changed the master, we changed the throw out bearing. We up with so many different things and then at the end of the day, obviously, it's just a $17. Nothing so, do that bad boy in, put the transmission in, and out runs. It was the $17 physical part, but you know, a lot of hours. the labor it takes to pull the transmission a few times. We had two different mechanics. We had our boy Hugo plus our boy Danny. Not only that, it's been here at the shop. We've been grinding on it. All in all, the time and energy, like, you know. It's a lot more than a $17 fix, but, you know, monetary wise, $17 fix. You could even argue it hurts more that it was only $17. <laughs> Min was actually a key player in all of this. He's also our newest employee. Yeah. <laughs> Min is our newest employee, and he also has an SC with a with it's SC 400 with the W58. And the first thing he told us to check was the spacing, and he was right the whole time. So good thing we hired him. Wow, <laughs> the man's nose. <laughs> oh. SC is way cooler than ours too. But why didn't you bring it today, dude? There's no radio. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! What? Is a Lexus supposed to sound like this? You take out some headers, or I mean, you take out the, the cab back out to the headers, and it'll sound like this. <laughs> nice American beat muscle. Dang! That looks pretty healthy to me. Is it the hood popping What? <laughs> Next up. I did a burnout so hard the battery terminal came out. <laughs> That's the first. 
That's sick, dude. Did not do that on purpose. Is there a puddle? Wait, 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 are you sure? Because the water, it looks like coolant. Guaranteed, boy. I tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that terminal, like, completely came off. That's, that's, oil, that's for sure coolant. The oil's on the left. Though. Question. Mm. How do you know what's what? Alright, Derek's quick mechanics lesson. <laughs> this is f***ing oil, this is f***ing coolant. <laughs> <laughs> All things aside, it is alive, it is running. Just a few things are loose. Just, just a little bit. You gotta tidy it up a lot. But it's the lines we made. That's a good time in a good car. This one oil, for sure. Mm -hmm. Wow, did you just taste that? No. I think Derek did I just... taste it? <laughs> oh! oh! That's 1040. Wow. <laughs> A little bit of rocks in there. All right. Experience. Synthetic. Uh, I'm gonna go with the synthetic blend on that one. Yeah. Use nothing less here at D and D. So who's burnt? I was burnt. Oh shit. I think Dane. I what? think Dane got it. What? He knocked the terminal loose. I did. I burned out so hard. I threw that shit in the terminal. Come off. Kind of drifted that corner too. That's bonus. I had like a kind of cool manji going on right there, and then I almost hit the dude, uh, so I had to stop. You know, it's because I, I, I warmed the tires up, so you made more smoke. Uh, Okay, okay, sure, Next sure. Next time I'm going second. Winner goes second. All right, all right, all right. I'll go with that. Go with that you. means we need to hear your opinion. Comment below who won, Dane or Derek. Oh! Did Johnny kill the... it? Yeah, dude. Oh, I missed. You missed. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. He goes back. Whoa, you look so different. Go. That was, shit was too crazy. <laughs> oh, we did a burnout in the SP, by the way. And uh, it did good, except it's leaking a bit of coolant. And that's because the coolant lines are a little dry rotted. And then um, it's also leaking oil. And uh, we don't know the source of where it's leaking oil. Dang, man. Dane and Derry just broke your finished work. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> work oh. makes the dream work. Bagels. <laughs> Bagels. <laughs> Couple more pounds. Us. Now we gotta clean up after their mess. <laughs> uh, check on oil leaks. Uh, I'm sure. I'm guessing the coolant. Uh, yeah, that guy's spitting. Time, you can see like all the cracking there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, earlier Simon pinched that guy and it was spitting. It's spitting from here. This clamp is loose right here. So it's Ooh. leaking right here. This, this will not look anywhere close to this in a couple of months. Or a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah, baby! This is actually really cool. Oh, dude, this, I love this cockpit. This cockpit is so nice. I've never had a hydro, dude. That handle right there? Sex. <laughs> so we're back here at D&D. &D. Uh, I just got in. Dane and Derek did a bunch of different burnouts in the back. So we worked on the SC for a while. We made sure that it was running. Uh, when we got it, the clutch wasn't engaging or disengaging. It was stuck in gear. In the air, you would be able to move through the gears, but it was kind of inoperable. So we went in there, we made sure the spacing for the slave was right so it could actually work. So we got the car running, it's, it's running properly. But there's oil leaks that we found and there's a coolant leak. We need to put a exhaust, I don't know if you can see right here, the exhaust is out. So it's just basically headers and open out. The motor is perfectly fine, it's running great. It actually idles way better than the Cressida does. So really good on that. Just need to clean up the oil leak uh, that's under. Not sure exactly where it is right now. It's probably just gonna be a gasket for the oil pan, but we are having coolant leaks because there's a bit of hoses that are just kind of empty out. Uh, there's cracking and rotting in the hose right here. Uh, definitely need to clean up the wiring here. All this will be gone. Just easy stuff, uh, but the car will be up and running really good and everything will be much better. Catch you guys in the next SE update.